I won't stop till I hear him say Warning, the information that we convey in these videos and the content on this page simply provides general consumer information. It is not legal advice or regulatory guidance. It is not intended to sway your personal bias in any way. We are simply just relaying information already available to the general public. We highly suggest you do your own research and draft your own opinion on the topics disclosed in this video breakdown. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, consider doing so now. And anytime you have a new technology framework, I think you have this kind of pre-Cambrian era of formative, almost you know, the foundation that the building blocks are being laid and people are trying new things and you know not everything has worked, that's okay. And as the, as the market resets, I think that's actually a really healthy time to step back and say, is what we're building solving a real problem for a customer, a business, a consumer? As the market resets, I think that's actually a really healthy time to step back. And... Okay, what is going on, CyberX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyberX YouTube page. As the market resets, very interesting keywords from Brad Garlinghouse himself. Again, dropping little gems in today's video breakdown. We're going to dive down the rabbit hole, paying attention to key phrases, key vocabulary, things that the elites aren't going to just go out and blatantly tell you, picking up little breadcrumbs, piecing them together for you all. If you all enjoy video breakdowns like this, deep rabbit hole dives, make sure that you go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I have a series of video clips for you all today to pay attention to, and then we're going to also read some documents. So let's head over here to the Philadelphia Fed YouTube channel that only has 2,000 subscribers. Okay, there are YouTube channels out there, okay, <laughs> where people do dances for a living that have millions of subscribers. These are the individuals that run our monetary policy here in the United States, and they have 2,000 subscribers. This, right off the bat, should show you how unawake and unaware individuals are to what's going on behind the scenes. Nobody pays attention to this stuff. It's just insane. So sit back, relax, pay attention to what these individuals have to say. We're going to piece some things together, pick up the breadcrumbs. Again, if you all enjoy video breakdowns like this, smash that thumbs up button. And so ironically, at the darkest, deepest, coldest part of crypto winter, the exact moment that we're experiencing today, personally, I've never been more optimistic and companies like Circle have never been more optimistic. Notice how they just said, in the deepest, darkest part of the crypto winter, they have never been more optimistic. Yet, how come every single other article that sweeps the headlines is a foot article shaking retail investors out? Yet, here they are at a paneled conference with central bankers talking about how optimistic they are. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the devil's in the details. They're going to attempt to steer you away from this as they innovate and as they prevail through this crypto winter. Heading over here to the next little video clip, I want you all to focus in on what it is that they say about Bitcoin and how it is not going to be used as a payment infrastructure in the future, okay? It is slow. It is outdated. It is too expensive. It is not going to be used in our payment infrastructure in the future, maybe as a means of store value, but it is not going to be used as a means of payment. Check this out. Word or two on Bitcoin, because of course that's the elephant in a lot of these rooms. I won't talk about whether it's a good store of value or its culture, uh, but it is, I think, clear that as a, as a, a means of exchange, it is quite poor, as it is slow and is it expensive. Uh, so I don't think it will ever be in use for real commerce. Uh, so I don't think it will ever be in use for real commerce. Look, uh, Bitcoin today, I, I've made the joke that people talk about using Bitcoin to buy coffee. You know, the average Bitcoin transaction can take, you know, as much as 20 minutes to complete, complete a transaction. If, I, if you're going to use Bitcoin for that transaction, it's going to take a long time. Your coffee might get yeah. cold and it's gonna, the transaction costs are going to double the price of your coffee. So I think, you know, we may come to find that Bitcoin is kind of the Napster of digital assets. It showed us what's possible. It showed us that, holy cow. This is transformative technology, but Spotify and iTunes and Pandora ruled the day because they actually engaged with the ecosystem. They engaged with regulators to solve a real problem. 
Okay, so you guys get the gist, right? Bitcoin slow is outdated. It's too expensive. So if they're not going to be using Bitcoin for our future payment infrastructure, well, what cryptocurrency or digital asset are they going to be using? Watch the breadcrumbs that I'm about to piece together for you all. This is nuts. Pay attention to detail. Again, nobody watches these videos. This, this video alone has 933 views. And check out some of the gems, again, that these individuals drop that nobody's picking up on. Appropriate safeguards will matter. Um, you know, we, I think we do want to consider the effects on deposits and other, uh, and other forms of cash um, from, from a widely available, instantly accessible CBDC. I think the other element that is quite important to keep in mind is that done right, a CBDC could essentially offer a platform um, so that um, the assets are programmable. There are ways in which stable coins or other digital assets can offer a bridge or other digital assets can offer a bridge, offer a bridge to other blockchains and provide other functionality above and beyond what the CBDCs themselves may offer. So I think there is an opportunity here for experimentation and, and, and the development of a wider ecosystem of alternatives, even if over time it turns out um, one, one alternative or another prevails. So what he said is that there should be a way where digital assets can offer a bridge, right? You guys pay attention to what it is that he said. Digital assets can offer a bridge. And then he mentioned it's going to be okay if one digital asset over the other prevails. Even if over time it turns out um, one, one alternative or another prevails. Okay. So... Now let's get into the details. I want to take your attention over here to a very, very interesting document, okay? And we're going to piece together the breadcrumbs. This was a PDF that came out in 2022, BIS Working Papers number 1015, May 2022, labeled Distributed Ledger Technology-Based Enhancement of Cross-Border Payment Efficiency, a Legal Regulatory Perspective. Okay? Now, don't forget the mentions of a bridge that the individual was speaking about digital assets potentially providing. Their digital assets can offer a bridge to other. And how one asset is going to prevail over the other and how Brad Garlinghouse and the panel from the Federal Reserve mentioned the lack of Bitcoin's ability to support our future payment infrastructure because it is slow. It is too expensive. It's not energy efficient. Okay, so what bridge asset, ladies and gentlemen, are they going to be using? Tune in, check this out. Okay, so we're going to scroll down here. We're going to go to page three. I have some things highlighted for you all. Pay attention to the devil's in the details. Distributed ledger technology arrangements could provide an alternative to the traditional reliance on a mutually trusted central entity to transfer funds and enable the creation of a new foundational infrastructure by distributing technical functions or linking existing systems. That's a key highlight. Pay attention. As such, we identify and outline concepts for use cases where distributed ledger technology is potentially improving efficiency of cross-border payments, namely a best execution distributed ledger technology, a distributed ledger technology application for a network of central banks. That's important right there. Okay, again, so it needs to be a network for central banks. A distributed ledger technology as an AML KYC, that's anti-money laundering and know your customer utility, as well as distributed ledger technology arrangements for identity platforms, a small payments platform, and finally, an interoperability platform connecting multiple closed loop and propriety banking systems. You cannot make this type of vocabulary up, okay? We're going to come back to this document in just one second, but I want to take your attention over here, okay? First of all, Let's go down here and it says, rather, Ripple incorporates the existing messaging standards, governance, and rules of the networks that adopt the technology. Ripple does not replace or show preference for any existing networks. Rather, it is used by networks and banks. Pause. Go back to this document. What does it say? It needs to be a distributed ledger technology that can be used Four banks right here, an application for a network of central banks. You guys see how the vocabulary is exactly the same. And clearinghouses to enable increased efficiency and interoperability. Again, pay attention to the key words. It says right here, 
interoperability platform connecting multiple closed loop systems and improving the efficiency of cross-border payments. Here are those two words, efficiency and interoperability. Efficiency and interoperability. Do you guys see how they're not just they're not just going to go out and tell you that they're linking the vocabulary together? You have to pick up the breadcrumbs yourselves. This is a BIS document, okay? And this is a Ripple document. Same exact vocabulary, but let's continue. Let's go back to the BIS document and let's scroll down here to page 21. Page 21, the vocabulary becomes even more apparent. It says right here, yes, it is crucial to provide for such a neutral settlement device. And remember that individual from the Fed mentioning that digital assets could provide a bridge, right? And if we come down here, it says, by relying on a safe settlement asset, the distributed ledger technology network of central bank benefits from a digital transfer of assets cross-border. Hence, a neutral settlement asset with securities and or derivatives features allow for rebalancing where cash and money lacks transferability for reasons of legal and monetary sovereignty. This word's going to pay an important role. Let me highlight that real fast. Okay, So it says right here, a neutral settlement asset. Well, let's go over here to the documents. Okay, I have two documents to share for you all. Let's start up here. Remember that word neutral. This is a PDF straight from Ripple, and it says the first neutral settlement infrastructure. Ladies and gentlemen, why do you think they're being targeted? Come on now. Payment networks can minimize or eliminate many of the costs and risks of today's fragmented systems by adopting Ripple technology, a neutral settlement standard that serves as the foundational layer of a payment system. Ripple is designed to be a neutral payments infrastructure, meaning it is currency agnostic, and like email and other standards, shows no preference to any country, jurisdiction, or system. A neutral infrastructure, Ripple incorporates the existing messaging standards, governance, and rules of the networks that adopt the technology. Ripple does not replace or show preference for any existing network. Rather, it is used by networks, banks, and clearinghouses to enable increased efficiency and interoperability, again, all of those key words, through a common platform. Taking you back to this document real fast, it says, hence a neutral settlement asset with securities and our derivative features allows for rebalancing. Yes, it is crucial to provide for such a neutral settlement device. They are coming after Ripple for a reason to give it regulatory clarity because they know what it's capable of, right? So if we remember back on this document where it mentions the word sovereignty, okay, it says right here, for reasons of legal and monetary sovereignty. And it talks about neutrality, right? And interoperability. Well, right here, this is the Ripple CBDC white paper that came out in 2020. Okay, it says interoperability. For a digital currency to have any utility to people and businesses, it needs to coexist and interact with other payment schemes in that domestic market. The next level of interoperability for CBDCs is the ability to work for global transactions. Without seamless cross-border functionality, most CBDC projects will significantly underachieve their potential. So it's literally saying unless they have some type of interoperability integration, they're going to underachieve their potential. Do you understand that? And remember back on the Fed, the little, the little video I showed you, what did he say? Digital assets could provide a bridge, right, for CBDCs, okay? It says right here, this will allow CBDCs to connect with other domestic services as well as each other, thereby enhancing their utility, lowering transaction costs, and reducing barriers for new market entrants while allowing central banks to retain sovereignty. There's that key word right there, okay? Then if we scroll down here, last but not least, it says neutral bridge currencies. This is where I'm going to need you guys to smash that thumbs up button if you all are XRP holders, so you're long-term holders, right? You've been in this market for quite some time, or maybe you're new to this uh, this cryptocurrency game, okay? Hold strong, understand the utility behind what it is that you hold. Understand that along the way, you're going to get flooded out. You heard Brad Garlinghouse at the beginning of this specific video mention that there's going to be a reset, and that is okay to take a step back, right? You've heard the Fed individual mention that there needs to be a bridge asset, okay? You've seen the document from the BIS mention a neutral bridge currency. Well, check this out. Neutral bridge currencies. A neutral bridge asset can support healthy alternative liquidity markets that allow for frictionless and cost-effective value movement between various CBDCs in real time. 
It would also enable the exchange of less liquid CBDC pairs and increase global competition by lowering entry barriers to new and smaller market participants. To enable a truly efficient global market, there's that word again, efficient, a bridge currency, there's that word bridge, must be specifically optimized for payments and support the same speed, scalability, low cost, and security that CBDCs will provide. One example of a neutral bridge is the digital asset XRP, which can be used to bridge two different currencies quickly and efficiently. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. You cannot make this stuff up. The devil's in the details. They're not going to blatantly go out and say that they are going to be utilizing XRP, but you all can pick up on the breadcrumbs. The vocabulary is exactly the same. Think about it. The words neutral, interoperability, efficiency, bridge asset, okay? Sovereignty. All of these documents, these three documents specifically, okay, mention the same exact vocabulary alongside of the videos of the panels that these individuals speak on mention the same exact vocabulary. It is not by accident. It is by design. However, the normal, every average day individual, again, look at the view count, does not watch this stuff. They are distracted by the social media platforms, okay? They are attempting to take your attention away to what's going on behind the scenes through mass manipulation. Make sure that you all are doing your own research. Nothing that I constitute here is financial advice. Blessings to you all. As always, be cognizant, be aware, and I will see you all in the next YouTube video breakdown. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.